Hey everyone, this is Alex with Virtual Set Lab, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to use a virtual set in Premiere Pro. All right, so we've got Premiere Pro 2020 open, and this is more specifically version 14.0.3. And so what we wanna do is select our project panel, navigate over to our desktop or finder, go to our folder where we have our media. So we've got some green screen presenter footage. We've got a HUD graphic that's going to be living on a monitor. And then we've got a blank background with moving video over the background monitors. And then we've got that same background, but this monitor flips out in front and we're going to have other media living on that monitor. So let's select all those clips I can drag them over into our project panel. If we double click on our blank graphic, click and drag that onto our new item icon. And that's going to create a new sequence that's based off the same dimensions as the virtual set lab media. Since this audio is blank here, what we can do is select the linked selection option so that it will let us separate audio and video and you can just select the audio there and delete it. All right, so next, if we double click our right monitor media, we can click and drag the video only and just put it exactly over the blank background media. And so what we're gonna be doing is masking around this monitor so that we can bring it in and out whenever we want without affecting this moving video in the background. So let's go ahead and select that right monitor if you go over to the effects controls panel, under opacity, you'll see a pen tool. So click on that. And if you go over to your program window here, you can select everywhere where that monitor is going to be. And we're gonna have to change the fit to 25% so that we can just make sure this mask is all the way outside of the frame here. Change it back to fit. And then when we click and drag, just make sure that that screen doesn't go outside of the window and it looks like we're good. So now what we wanna do is go back to our project panel, find our green screen presenter, and we can drag that above our background media. And since it's 4K, we're gonna to need to go to our effects controls panel and scale down. You'll see that this is a full head to toe shot, but we're not gonna need that much of our presenter. I'm thinking about that framing, but once we do the key, we'll be able to tell more precisely where she needs to be. So if we go to our effects panel and type in key, We'll see an effect called Ultra Key. So double click on that or click and drag it onto our layer here. Then go to Effects Controls and you'll see there's an Ultra Key effect. Now select the eyedropper by key color and then select anywhere on the green near our presenter. And there we go. And that framing actually looks pretty good. So I think I'm going to leave it. And so let's say when we're playing it back, we don't want the monitor to come in immediately. Since that monitor is masked out, what we can do is say if we want the monitor to come in at three seconds, we can just drag that layer out to the right. And you'll see it'll just seamlessly come in. Let's say we only want the monitor to be out for few seconds. So what we can do is hit Command K on our keyboard with that right monitor layer selected and then scroll down to where the monitor starts to move back up. And then you can either hit Command K or C for the cut tool and then press V again to go back to your selection tool and then drag that media wherever you want the monitor to go away and we can just delete that other media. 
we can also click and drag the blank background to end at the same time as our TV. And this background media does loop. So say if you need it to last longer, it is 30 seconds, but you can always hit Command C on that layer, go to the end of it and then hit Command V. And you'll see that that background loops seamlessly. But since we don't need that, we're going to leave it ending here and have the green screen presenter footage in there as well. Let's drag that there. Now let's key out that screen on the right. So if we go to our effects and search ultra key, making sure that right screen layer is selected, we can double click the ultra key effect. Go to your effects control panel, select the key color eyedropper, and click on the green on the screen. Now if we select that effect, and hit Command or Control C, and then paste it on the second clip where the screen's going away, that'll put the effect there. Now you'll notice that we're able to see through the screen because we have that blank layer. If we turn off the right screen, we've got that blank background behind it. And so we're going to need to do something so that that screen looks black. So if we play it and go to where that right screen stops, we're gonna need to make it cut here. So select that layer and hit Command or Control K. Let's drag up the green screen presenter footage one video track. And then if you hold down Option while selecting the right screen and drag up, that'll duplicate those layers. So what we wanna do is turn off the ultra key effect on the top layer. We're gonna want to make this green on the screen look black. So if we go to our effects panel, type in change to color or go to video effects, color correction, change to color. Double click it with that top layer selected. And if you click the eyedropper, tell it to go from that green color and then click on the white here and drag that all the way to the top right or left corner to make it complete black. Change this effect to hue and lightness. That makes our screen look black. So we can delete this middle clip because that's where our green screen media is going to be. And if you click on the right side of that clip and hit Command or Control D, that's going to create a dissolve. We can drag it out a little bit more so that it is covering that green screen media. Let's click on that clip again select the change to color effect, hit Command or Control C, and then copy it on this end clip as well. And that's for when the TV is turned off before it starts moving again. And then we can select that beginning of the layer and hit Command or Control D to do that dissolve. And so since we have all of that done, we can move all of these layers up and put our HUD graphic underneath it. So let's go to our project panel, get our HUD graphic, and if we grab the video icon, it'll only pull in the video. We know that it's going to only start playing after the screen's black fades out. So we're gonna put it there. We just have to resize it. So select the HUD graphic, Go to your effects control panel, select the motion, and you can scale it down. And you can also, since we've got the motion selected here, we can just click and drag into the right position. If you hold down command or control when you're sliding this, it'll slide it more gradually. So you have a little finer control. And that works with the position, 
and the scale. All right, so now that we've got that inside of there, let's play it back and see what we've got. All right. And we can go ahead and trim this layer to end with the other ones. And let's go to where our presenter's on screen last and hit O on your keyboard to select an out point. Let's play it back one more time. All right, and I think we'll call this one done. Thanks everyone for watching and be sure to go to virtual-studio-set.com for your virtual background needs. See you next time.